Hey Mallards, it is Tuesday. I had a meeting for Kids Fringe earlier, which was really fun. It went very well. And now I'm watching Buffy and Angel with Ginger, which is always a good time. Uh, in case you forgot, there's an apocalypse happening in Buffy and also still an apocalypse happening in Angel. Um, but in Angel, we get the added unfortunate Cordelia and Angel's son Connor are in a relationship and she's pregnant and they're really gross. She's also an evil demon. Uh, and let's not forget that Angel became Angelus. But on the bonus side, Faith is there. Uh, so we watched Faith trick Angel and then beat him up in the psychic realm. And then Willow showed up and just like magic Angel's soul back into Angelus because she's that sort of bam. So all of that seems resolved. It's really funny like how quickly, like Willow just shows up and they're like, boom, done. Could have been resolved way earlier. Uh, meanwhile, on the Buffy side, everybody's trying to convince her to kill Spike and she's not listening. So we learned a little bit more about Spike and that was fun. A little bit more about his backstory and how, you know, he came to be the terrible person that we absolutely adore. Because over here, we like guys we shouldn't. Uh, we're going to watch some more episodes and I'll update you on what's going on. All right, we are two more episodes of Angel Deep. Good news, it seems that uh, other people have finally figured out Cordy is evil. Bad news, the one person who hasn't figured it out is Connor and he just killed somebody for her. Which is a bummer. Uh, but on the flip side, there's this demon, his name is Skip, and we got to see him again, and... Well, actually, basically, it just turns out that the entire show Angel is a lie. Like, the whole thing. Maybe not the whole thing. Maybe not in season one, but, like, it seems like everything since the end of season one has been a total lie. Like, none of the things that we learned were actually things that we learned. It's all been the plan of this big evil leading up to this moment where it, inside of Cordy, can give birth to itself. The whole show is a lie. That's, that's what I've learned. The whole show is a lie. Everything you thought you knew, you didn't know because this show is a lie. Uh, and Cordy did give birth to Zoe Washburn. I mean, to the actress who plays her, whose name I should know, but I don't. Uh, and immediately Angel was in love with her, which is weird, but also like immediately she was an adult, which is maybe weirder. Anyway, we have one more episode of Angel left before I'm gonna have to tap out because it's getting too crazy. All right, so we finished the last episode I'm watching for tonight. And here's the thing, I should hate this storyline, and I do a little bit, but also, Gina Torres plays this new character and I adore her, so it's really hard to completely hate it. Uh, but Fred finally saw the monster for who she really is instead of what everyone else sees, which is apparently this like absolute perfect goddess, which like Gina Torres is an absolute perfect goddess, so like I get it. But anyway, uh, who's taking all of your pain away it's that sort of thing where the evil thing is just like brainwashing everyone into thinking things are great. And it does sort of leave you wondering like, hmm, but if you do brainwash everyone into thinking things are great and they actually are happy, then why would you stop the evil? I don't know, these are the moral quandaries in this show that is apparently all a lie. Anyway, I only got one episode of Buffy out of tonight, despite the fact we watched five episodes, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but we're going to watch more soon, and if you watch Buffy, let me know what you think of the storyline. I think Gina Torres' character's name is Jasmine. They haven't named her Jasmine yet, but she's talked about Jasmine Flowers like a hundred times, so I'm pretty sure that's the way it's going. Let me know what you think of that line in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow.